booktube this is kelly thank you so much for watching my channel books i'm not reading um i am i have been slammed with tags lately <laughs> so i will do my best to get to as many of them as i can but um yeah i'm gonna start afresh <laughs> in uh may <laughs> for sure but i really did want to get to this one this is the book recommendations tag um and I don't know who the, like if you ever make an original tag, you should always put in parentheses original after it so that people know, oh, okay, this is, this is where it started. Cause I always, I do want to give credit to the creator of the tag. Um, and the, the, my best guess is that maybe Steph, Steph Borer, um, and I'll link to her channel down below, created it. Um, I was tagged by someone who is um, new to me, new to, like, I just, I'm just slowly getting to know him, and that's uh, Monty Adkins Books. And so I'm gonna link to his channel and his version of this tag down below. Please go and check out um, Monty's channel. He's a super, super nice guy. So um, just, if nothing else, go and say, hey, welcome. <laughs> you know, he's been here a little while, but um, yeah. So I'm like, I'm really uh, great grateful for Monty for tagging me in this. And you know, the truth is like, I have no idea if I've done this tag before. Um, I think sometimes our answers would change and there's always new people. And so, especially for the new people, I thought this would be a great way to um, let you kind of know what sort of books um, I really love. But I also want to hear from you in the comment section, your answers to these questions, like what books would you recommend for certain things, for certain categories, um, so that I can add them to my TBR or my wish list or whatever. Um, I'm, I'm really, really curious. So question number one, a book you tell people is your favorite. This is the very first book that I ever showed on my channel. Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. I know <laughs> those of you who have been with me a long time will have seen this many times, but it's it's the truth. Um, question two, a book that is your guilty pleasure. Okay, so I really don't like this term guilty pleasure. I don't, like, I don't ever, I don't ever pick up a book and feel guilty about it. Do you know what I mean? I just, I don't, like if you enjoy it, there's nothing, you shouldn't feel guilty about it, I guess. I don't know, like maybe maybe I'm just hung up on the, the guilty part of that phrase. So I didn't pick anything for this. Uh, question number three, a book everyone loved and you did not. I don't have a copy to show you because um, we got rid of our copy. <laughs> But that is Middle March by George Eliot. And I'm telling you, like, yeah, Booktube, Booktube loves Middle March. So if you don't like it, <laughs> we can hang out together. But like, I would, if you have a channel and you suddenly come out really strongly against Middle March, just like, be prepared. <laughs> be prepared for some people to um, have some uh, rebuttal for you. Let's, let's put it that way. Um, let's see. Uh, question four, a book you read the fastest. Again, I don't really like this question. Like it doesn't matter how fast we read a book. Like it is not a race, you guys. <laughs> um, I, I did pick up, uh, 84 Charing Cross Road by Helen Hanf. Um, I think, Lots of booktubers have talked about this book. Um, it's a series of letters between a woman in New York and a, a, a bookseller in uh, England, and she's looking for certain editions of things. And yeah, um, but it, it she ends up being able to help them um, during a really difficult time in England, and it's it, it's beautiful. It's a wonderful book. It's very short and it reads super fast. But again, like it's not about it's not about like, it's not about speed. Okay. So, um, uh, let's see. Question number five, a book that deserves more hype. Okay. I'm very strongly about this one. Dombey and Son by Charles Dickens. More people should read this. 
um more people should yeah this should be like when we think of dickens i mean i think there are certain books that come to mind you know great expectations um a christmas carol but dombey and son is it should be right up there with with the best of dickens works i loved this book so much it was just glorious to read it it really really was so um now it's a classic so i would say skip the intro don't read the back but uh, it it deserves it deserves so much more praise and attention than it gets question six a book that um Oh, a book that is becoming a movie or a TV show. Okay, so this is totally like a Jason question. <laughs> My husband. Um, I I don't I don't pay attention to that sort of stuff. I don't know. Um, but I did grab um Slow Horses, which is um an Apple TV series. Will say though, having read the first three books in this series. The Apple TV miniseries and the books is, is so different. I mean, the characters are still there, but um, like the like what happens is different, like the events. So it doesn't matter if you've already watched the TV series, like you can read the books and like one of the books I remember reading and I was just like, I have like, what is gonna happen? Like what is happening? I had no idea because it was so different from the mini series. So anyway, I enjoy these. Maybe this is my maybe this is my guilty pleasure. I don't know. A book that you have reread the most. Do you know what? I have no idea. I've read I've read Austin um, several times. There's another book I'm going to talk about a little bit later that I've read at least th at least three times. I'm due for, for a fourth time. So yeah, I love rereading. I just don't, I, I don't do it as much as I should. So um, yeah, but I, I don't have a good, I don't have a good solid answer for that question. Question eight, a book from a genre you don't typically read. Okay, so <laughs> I'm gonna go with a genre that I used to, I, I used to be afraid of this author and I thought that I didn't actually, I thought I actually did not like this author. And one year, Jason challenged our family and our friends to read three giant Charles Dickens books over the course of a year. So in one year, we read Bleak House, The Pickwick Papers, and Little Dorrit. And the first one we read was Bleak House. And I was terrified because A, it's huge. And I thought I did not like Charles Dickens. And this book is a masterpiece. It's just fantastic. So this really, um, this whole experience of reading three big Charles Dickens books over the course of the year made me realize like, oh, actually, no, I do like, I do like Charles Dickens. Um, and uh, since being on booktube, um, with the exception of last year, I think I've, I think I've read one or two Dickens books uh, every year. My goal is to read all of his novels. So I still have a few left. I'm going to be getting to another one in uh, May. So that's exciting. All right. Question nine, a book that deserves all the hype it gets. I'm not sure this book gets a lot of hype anymore on booktube, um, but I know when I worked for Barnes and Noble, um, it was uh, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo by Steve Larson. Man, this book was so popular for such a long, long period of time. It's actually one of the first books I read um, after I'd finished my Pulitzer project, where I read all the books that had won Pulitzer Prize for fiction. Obviously, that's an ongoing project. I have to stay on top of it every year. But um, yeah, I read this uh, after I'd finished the Pulitzer project, and I was just so sucked into it. It was great. It was page turning. It was. I loved the characters. Um, yeah, so anyway, when it came out, like it, there was a lot, a lot of hype about it, so. Question number 10, a book you uh, usually recommend whenever asked to give a recommendation. This is so hard because I really think like, 
recommendations are, are specific to people. Like when I worked for Barnes and Noble and people would ask me for a recommendation, I would want to know, like, tell me some books that you love. Like what, um, tell me some books that you, uh, are really excited about or you really enjoyed reading and then I can go from there because I mean there's a lot like some people read a lot of nonfiction, so you want to find something uh, maybe in that genre for them or something that feels has a, a I don't know maybe narrative uh, nonfiction something like that uh, people like mysteries people like romance people like um, Oh my gosh, like all kinds of things. So uh, it's it's very difficult. But for BookTube, um, I, have, I have a series here. Now that you can get them all in one edition with a few extra essays. I don't, I like these. I like these versions the best. Um, this is the Polysyllabic Spree series by Nick Hornby who, as much as I love his fiction, I really, really love these books. Um, each essay begins with the books that he read um, in a month and what books he bought that month. Uh, so there's the polysyllabic spree, housekeeping versus the dirt, <laughs> Shakespeare wrote for money, and more baths, less talking. So I think pretty much anybody on BookTube um, would enjoy those because uh, he he does uh, now he does read Dickens, <laughs> so he you'd be surprised at the interesting things that that he reads. And sometimes I one time I don't know it just hit me like in the right spot. One of the essays I just was laughing so hard I was crying. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I think those are great books and I, I, you know, I, I would encourage other booktubers to look for them, to hunt them out. Um, and again, there's, you can get like one edition, uh, that has all of the books, um, or all of the, yeah, all of those four books in it. Um, and I think that's called 10 years in the tub. Yeah. I feel pretty sure about that, but I was, it's a little irritated that then like after four books then they decide to put all of them into one and it was a big hardcover and I was just like yeah I'm not I'm not that into I, I did read the essays that I had not read in there but I didn't feel like it was worth it compared to those four. Question 11 a book that has your favorite characters again those of you who've been watching for a while are not going to be surprised that it's A Tree Grows in Brooklyn by Betty Smith. I love these characters so much. I've read this book, I like I said, I've read this book three times, um, but it's, it's going to be time to read it again soon because it is just, oh man, I love, I love that book. And that's another one I would recommend to a lot of people on booktube. Okay. Question number 12, a book you wish you could live in. I'm going to do a repeat here. I want to live. I want to live in Bride and Bridges. I want to live in Pemberley, <laughs> to be more specific, um, so I can spend more time reading and less time um, adulting, <laughs> if you will. So that is a book I wish I could live in. Um, let's see. Question 13, a book uh, you thought you would hate but ended up loving. So again, this question, like I did, I never pick up a book and go, oh, I'm gonna, I am gonna hate this. I am gonna hate this book. I never do that. Why would you do that to yourself? <laughs> um, yeah, so never, no, 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 no. Never, I don't ever pick up a book. So I want to make it absolutely clear. The book I'm going to show you is not a book that I thought I would hate because it was recommended to me by one of you. Um, so I read this year, The Chinese Maze Murders by Robert Van Gulick, um, which are based on ancient Chinese stories, um, ancient Chinese mysteries, if you will. It is just a very unusual book for me. And um, so somebody told me they really liked the Judge D stories. And I was just like, who's Judge D? 
And why is ju why is a judge solving crimes? But in ancient China, like the magistrate was the one who did all the detective work. There were no lawyers defending one side or the other. Like the judge figured everything out. Anyway, so I got a huge kick out of this. Again, I did not go into it thinking that I would hate it. I'm not like, why would I do that to myself? <laughs> so anyway, but it's just like, definitely, um, definitely really different for me. Um, let's see. Question 14, a book that made you cry. <sighs> the Last Chronicle of Barset by Anthony Trollope. It's just, there were just moments that were just so glorious that, yeah, I was just, I was in tears. <laughs> so question 15, a book you wish you could read for the first time. Now, this book has been getting some hate on booktube lately. I'm not quite sure what that's about, but if I could read it again for the first time, I would read Les Miserables by Victor Hugo because the first time you read it, I mean, there's so much you're not expecting. Ah, oh, so much detail. It's just, oh, it's just so rich. Um, and I, God, I love that book. Like, I love that book so much. <laughs> David Novak, I'm sorry, but I really, really love uh, Les Miserables. So um, it it might be my favorite book of all time, which is saying quite a bit because um, it it's very close with Bleak House. Those are both books that I don't understand how the author, I, I don't understand how the author wrote them. So um, I'm going to tag a couple people now, there's no pressure because I know some of you have some other things going on in your life right now, so you don't have to do it right away, but I really, these are, I, I, want, I want book recommendations from these booktubers. I would really, really like to hear um, from Ursula at Odds and Sods, um, and from Gina at Gina Stanier Books and Kim at Middle of the Book March. I would love to hear what you think, but the rest of you, like if I didn't tag you and you have a channel and you wanna do this tag, by all means, feel free uh, to do this tag. You don't, you don't need to be tagged to do a tag. And secondly, those of you without channels, what are your back book recommendations for me? What uh, what books do you, do you love that I need to add to my, um, I've got a shelf on my Goodreads channel of recommendations and I, I'm not very good at updating it, but like I need to, I need to do that. So, so let's fill up the comment section with book recommendations. <laughs> <laughs> books you love um and um you can tell me like a specific question in the tag like the, the, that's how you would answer it or you could just recommend books to me <laughs> so um I would love that. Now, as always, if you don't feel comfortable leaving a comment, you can leave me an emoji, um, or maybe you just wanna say, hi, Kelly, and um, you can give this video a thumbs up. It really does make a difference. I also wanted to let you know, I will have a new video up on my Kofi page, um, if not today, very soon, and it is a tour of our film library. So I'm, I'm super excited to share it with you. Um, so so please, please take a moment to check that out. If you have ideas for my Kofi page, let me know what you'd like to see there. Um, it just tends to be something that's slightly different from BookTube. So, all right, thank you guys so much. BookTube, remember to be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and I will be back soon with another video. Bye.